Hey guys, welcome back to Homestead Prepping and Survival. <coughs> Sing it, boy. Kept the adults in here. Let the teenagers out today, which they're adults now, but ain't quite started laying yet, so. Let me show y'all what I walked into today, into the new nesting box. They done laid an egg in there. So apparently, that works. Now here's the problem. I got ants all over the eggs. There's another one that's busted in here. So I got to figure out. There's 14 left, so that means that was probably one of the originals or more than one broke because I don't see any pencil marks on that egg. All the rest of them have them. So, maybe two broke. There's no telling. But either way, they used a new box. Apparently they like that one more than they do the others. So, I'll put a little straw from there into it. One whole egg. I'm telling you, I got one or two molten and only one laying and one setting. So, I'm only getting one or two eggs a day and that's not going to cut it. But for right now, that's what it is. So over here to the babies. Yep, their feeder's pretty low. I got to get a, bas a bucket full of food and come over and fill it up. There's still some on that one side. But. So I will fill their feeder up, but I'm going to let the teenagers run a little bit. I'll come back in a little bit and fill their feeder up. So. Anyway, still no eggs in the teenagers. That doesn't look like they've really used it. So... You hear that noise? There's a buzzard that just landed on a pine tree right back there. On a see if I can find him. There he is. You see him right in the center of the screen. He's probably after that armadillo that I shot a few days ago because I left it laying there. Normally I throw it off into the woods, but. That's probably what's going on. We call them buzzards. I don't know what the world the rest of the folks around the country call them. But anyway, I'm not going to show you. Sparky is up there doing this business, so that won't be a good shot. But either way, wanted to show y'all. I was glad to see an egg in the new nesting box today. And the black tipped golden hen is up there. Wanting to get back on the egg, so I've got to do something about the ants. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have to figure something out. Of course, she'll sit on them, but they may run her off of them. I don't know. But either way, hope you guys are prepping. Hope you're having a safe day today. And I'm going to pause this video because it's short and sweet. Just to show you the egg in the new nesting box. And I'll have more to come on here for you. For you in just a few seconds. Well, that red hen over here was not the one I was expecting. Was trying to sit with the setting hen, the black tip one. So I got her and put her over with the teenagers earlier today. And she's not happy, but guess what? She's going to stay over there till she lays an egg. She's going to get broke. And if I see one of the other ones, which I'm thinking it's the other dark brown one and the white one, they're probably going to end up going over there as well. Because the teenagers are old enough and big enough to take up for themselves. So, thought I'd let the 
babies come out and run a little bit before it gets too dark. I'm hoping they'll get up on the roof if I leave the door open. White hen is already on the roof. She'll get down when the others jump up there. Always does. But I haven't gotten an egg from her in about a week. And that red hen likes to pick at her a little bit, but that one I don't believe is laying. The only one I believe is laying regularly is the light brown one there with, without the black tips. She's the only one laying regularly. She got a little black on her tail feathers, but not much. So, this red one can stay over there till she starts laying. And then one of the others will go over there. We're going to see how this works out. I have no idea. But when those babies, the eggs hatch up under that hen up there. It's about time to put these other six in the freezer, so. so I'm gonna let them run around a little bit. Hope y'all are having a great day. I tried to video a little bit without me talking just so y'all could get the relaxation that I get. Well, I'm sure y'all can't tell on camera, but I went through the eggs just a little while ago. A couple of them look like they may have been starting, but they should have been much further along than what I found when I busted these. I left five eggs up under her. That candle that showed very good promise of having a bitty in there. So, we shall see. She is still sitting. I um, picked her up and put her down in the new nesting box and went through those eggs. I remarked them with the pencil because it, you know, they rubbed that off. And um, pulled out the ones that were just, I could see all the way through. A couple of them looked like it had some veins, but they had been there long enough. They should already be forming well. None of these were. So out of 17 total, a couple of them got busted with the hens getting on top of them. And the rest of them I just busted here. They'll eat the eggshells and stuff tomorrow. And um, I left five up under her. So hopefully those five will continue to form and grow into a pullet. So I'm trying to make them get up on the roost. I left this door open, like I said a little while ago till roosting time and it's dark i've got the light on the camera on so you can see i'm gonna turn it off for just a second to show you what it looks like without it so pretty doggone dark so turning the camera light back on but either way this hen over here has been on this milk crate wanting to roost over here but she finally gave up and got on the roost and of course, the four teenagers are just as far away from her as they can get. But she's not happy about being over there. But she's going to stay in the teenager pen until she lays another egg. And then I'll put her back over here. And uh, if I'm still not getting the egg from the white one or the other red one, I will put one of them over there to try to break them from being broody or molting or whatever it is that they're not laying an egg so i was counting the gray ones a little while ago they're supposed to be 10 and i see
nine. There it is, 10, it was over here in the side. So all the black ones are up there with the little mama on the roost, but there's three or four or five that want to keep roosting right here on the old skid from the original pen. And I don't want to, I want to get up on that roof. So I'm going to leave this door open a little bit longer and kind of hang out, make them stay the night up there. <laughs> they are stubborn. They don't want to get up on that roof, but they're supposed to. So the four teenagers are roosting and the hen that I moved over to break from trying to sit when she shouldn't is roosting. And then the other three hens and the rooster are setting the hen that's incubating is back on the eggs that i left her which is like I say five of them so it's getting pretty dark out here i am trying to get those babies to roost on the roost so that's what we're going to do looks like they're getting up there so i'll walk away give them another minute or two see if they'll stay if they'll sit down, they usually stay, but if they're standing up, they're ready to come back down. So anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos that I produce. Um, I know most of them are just around the homestead, taking care of the chickens, the dog, the cats, you know. Um, but I do a lot of videos on food storage, medical storage or supplies um firearms and reloading and i try to do a little bit of survival I, I don't think i've really posted a straight survival video since i started the channel but there will be one coming um that's just not my big thing mine is to bug in here on the homestead and most of the people in my group i believe will make it here if crap hit the fan so well, it's a pretty good defensive location, so we're going to keep it like that, at least for now. So, I hope you guys are prepping. hope you're enjoying the videos. I thank y'all for subscribing. We are over that 140 mark now, and I thank y'all so very much for that. Um, if you have not done so already, please share the channel. It helps me grow so much. And by hitting the like button, it suggests the algorithm with YouTube. Um gets them to suggest the video to more people that watch the same type videos that you watched that got you here so i thank y'all for that if you will please do that it helps so so much y'all remember the two things i always tell you jesus loves you and so do i y'all be safe and be prepared and see this is the easy way to store chicken you gotta worry about the power going out you don't have to worry about dehydrating it or canning it. I just got to feed it a little bit or let it run around. But that's not the plan, though. You know, they are planning on going to the freezer. Y'all have a great one. Thank y'all so very much.